strong and durable are the first two words that come to mind when you start moving the starting block around. With its large 6 inch wheels, it maneuvers easily and can hold any manufactured block. And for the price, there's no starting block card in the market that is better. The starting block comes in 10 pieces and is really easy to assemble. First you want to line them all up so you have an understanding of what you're looking at. First you want to install the wheels. There are two straight wheels and two wheels that are able to swivel. The straight wheels are for the back of the cart while the swivels are for the front of the cart near the handle. The wheels ship with the bolts, washers, and nuts attached, so the first thing you'll need to do is detach those from the casters. After lining up the holes, you'll insert the bolts and attach the washers and nylon nuts. You're going to want to repeat this process for all four wheels. And again, you'll want to make sure that the straight wheels are on one end and that the pivoting wheels are the same size as the brackets for the handle. For tightening, you'll need an 11 16 wrench and a regular 11 16 wrench or an adjustable wrench. One last time, take note that the swivel wheels are in the front near where the handle will go. At this point, moving the U-beams on top of a flat surface will make the rest of the installation much easier. You'll notice two holes at the end of the U-frame and two holes on the bottom of the A-frame. You'll line those up and insert the screws. To tighten these you'll need a large Phillips head screwdriver and your ratchet wrench once again. For this next step you'll definitely need two people and you'll raise the rack beam into place and insert the bolts to hold it there. The final step involves attaching the handle which is held in place by one bolt and once again your ratchet and adjustable will allow you to tighten that up. And with that, your VS starting block is ready to go and will easily hold every starting block in your inventory.